OK. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself first. My name is Xiaohua Guan from Tokyo, Japan, working for ND Data Intelink. The topic today is cluster as a service to die. At the beginning, I already created page as a pad page there, and you can write down your comments. And also, you can access today's slides in set share page. Here is today's agenda. I will use 20 minutes to introduce Dodai and the Dodai Deploy and Dodai Compute. And following that, I will show you a nav demo to construct a Fosam cloud on Amazon EC2 for about 10 minutes. And the next 10 minutes, I will leave it for your questions. OK, let's start from what is Dodai. Dodai provides class, class as a service. And uh, it consists of Dodai Deploy and Dodai Compute. So what is class? Uh, Dodai can allocate servers from resource pool and uh, use them to construct elast uh, elastic private cloud. And uh, when you finish using the cloud, you can return the service back to resource pool. This is the simple uh, use case of CAS. As just as I said, Dodai consists of Dodai Deploy and Dodai Compute. From the bottom of the picture, you can see Dodai Compute can allocate servers from resource pool and uh, software can be installed by Dodai Deploy. Then OpenStack or other private cloud software can be constructed. Of course, uh, in addition to OpenStack and uh, Eucalyptus, you can use it to install Hadoop, SunGrid Engine, and other softwares. Also, the cluster, among cluster, the network was separated securely. Okay, let's introduce Dodai Deploy and uh, Dodai Compute separately. Firstly, what is Dodai Deploy? Dodai Deploy is, uh, in a word, Dodai Deploy is a software, uh, is a tool to install or uninstall software in distribu a distributed environment. And it also uh, open source project with license Apache 2, so you can customize it with as you want. Here is the project page. Let's take a look at history of Dodai Deploy. Before Dodai Deploy, we also developed a tool named as Nova Deployment Tool uh, until Nova Cactus, uh, I can, uh, it can be used to install Nova and to Nova Cactus version. But uh, since OpenStack Diablo version, we want to install more softwares, not just Nova. So we developed Dodai Deploy. 
at first version, we support, at the support for Diablo, Diablo, Hadoop, and Sangria engine. And the next, we add templates for Essex and uh, Eucalyptus. And in the latest version, we also add the function of install as service and the support for CentOS and uh, add the support for Fosum in Ubuntu OS. So what the features of Dodai Deploy? Firstly, it is a framework to manage templates of various softwares and uh, it can be uh, and it can do installation parallelly so uh, in some things it fast and uh, it can be scaled out according to your requirement and also it provides various interface for different users. Let's say some details about the features. Features. It provides template. Now it provides templates for various software such as OpenStack, Hadoop, Sangre Engine, and Eucalyptus. User can customize the existing templates and also they can add their own templates. Okay, uh, when you want to install software, you must consider about the dependency of the components inside the software. For example, when you want to install Nova, uh, because Nova API depends on MySQL Server and uh, RabbitMQ Server. So you, before install the API, you should install MySQL Server and uh, RabbitMQ Server first. In .NET Deploy, uh, it creates a schedule for the software according to the dependencies of components and uh, it will then do installation according, the, according to the schedule. As for the components, they are independent. They will be installed parallelly. Here is the graph for Hadoop installation time. When we increased number of data node, the install installation time just increased slightly. Of course, in ideal situation, the time should be constant, will not change anymore, any, at all. And uh, why the time changed? Uh, it's because the bottleneck in the .NET deploy, I will discuss in the next page. Okay. The left side is the architecture when the .NET Deploy and the public server are installed in same physical machine. When you want to use .NET Deploy in that scale environment, you have to consider about the performance. So, how do that deploy scale out? Uh, I use the way almost the same provided by Puppet, just like the rest side shows. Behind the .NET deploy server, we set up a Apache 
Apache server as load balancer, and the Apache server will dispatch requests to different Puppet master processing different physical machines. Then the node can be distributed to different physical machines. We, <coughs> as for, for the beginner, it is used to use web UI. And uh, we also provide command line interface for the, such as system operator. Also, if you want to integrate .NET Core to other system, you can use the REST APIs. Here we create a simulator page. You can use the page to learn how to use the REST APIs. So, uh, till now, I have goes, gone through the features of Dota Deploy. And uh, next, how Dota Deploy do inside it? Firstly, Dota Deploy was developed on uh, using framework Ruby on Rails 3. And uh, it used Puppet, a puppet uh, uh, to manage automatic software installation and uh, use mcreactive and active MQ server to manage communication between server and the node. Here is the process flow of inside .NET Deploy. When user click install button in the browser, the browser will send a request to the Deploy server. When the Deploy server receives the request, it will create a schedule to, for the software you selected. And then it will send the request to the M Collective server in corresponding puppet uh, .NET nodes according to the schedule. And then the puppet client will be started in .NET nodes. Well, the, when puppet client started, they will retrie uh, retrieve the latest manifest from puppet server and uh, do installation then. Today, we will also introduce the new functions about the deploy. Firstly, we introduce the concept of install as service, and uh, we also as support for CentOS. And also we can use .NET Deploy to install Fosum in Ubuntu OS. So what is install as service? In word, install as service is provide installation of sof software as a service. So there is no need to install to that people server anymore. And the user can add node belong their own and also create proposal. Ma, uh, what is proposal? Proposal is the plan to install software of their own. Here is the page of install service. The left side is the login page. The right side is the current user page. In the current user page, various information belonging to the user is displayed. And uh, there are uh, 
setup command for .NET Deploy node, the script of for setup uh, setup command for .NET Deploy node would also uh, include there. Uh, user can use the command to install .NET Deploy node easily. And the left side is the page to end nodes on EC2. User can input the instance size and the access key secret key necessary for run instance in Amazon EC2. And then click add button .NET deploy, uh, deploy server will do run instance for them. And uh, the setup script will be, will pass to Amazon as user data. When instance boot, the setup script will be ex executed automatically. And uh, if user want to add a node not on EC2, they can run the setup command uh, displayed in current user page. And then uh, use the new node page, right side page, to add a new node. Okay, so that deploy is support, uh, create, now that deploy can install in CentOS. The setup script is different, but the web UI is the same way as that deploys open version. But, that deploy, uh, but this, to that deploy CentOS version, did not support for some yet. You can use it for SX installation only. Okay, how's the ready for support for for some Ubuntu? Ubuntu. Uh, the ready provides three templates for for some. One is compute, including Lova, Horizon, Quantum, and Cinder. Others are Glance and Keystone. <coughs> okay. Then, in the next version of the .NET Deploy, we want to construct a global server to provide internet service. Now we just testing, uh, now we still testing the function. And uh, especially if when multiple user use it simultaneously. And in next version, we will create a global version, a global server. So it can be accessed from anywhere. And uh, one of the weaknesses of .NET Deploy, .NET Deploy is the templates so few. So we want to add more templates for popular, other popular softwares. And also we want allow user to upload their own templates where web UI. Next, I will talk about the compute. Okay. 
Dot .NET Compute, it developed based on Nova, so, and uh, it's also the open source project with the same lessons with, uh, with the same lessons as .NET Deploy. <coughs> User can access the project page in the GitHub. And what's the features of .NET Compute? Because it's based on Nova, so it has the same interface with Nova to operate on physical machines. In order to shorten the installation time of physical machine, we have prepared machine with OS installed in resource pool. And uh, uh, we use open flow switch and controller to separate network between the clusters. Here is the all inside the compute. We use Cobbler to manage uh, image of OS and uh, open for controller and uh, switch to manage the separation of network and IPMI to manage the power of machine. That's all. In the next version of .NET Compute, we want to, firstly, we want to shorten the installation time furtherly by using KXIC kernel execute. It can, uh, .NET Compute can bypass BIOS when installing OS. In our verification test, in the best case, the time can be shorten from about 10 minutes to about one minute. Also, I want, we want to show users the console of physical machine. So we use SOL of IPMI to get console of physical machines. As for the machine, Without IPMI hardware, we want to use the technology Wake Online to add support for them. Okay. Here, uh, today I will show you the demo to construct for some cloud on Amazon EC2. Well, uh, there is one Nova controller and three Nova compute nodes. Okay, here is the steps, let's go. Firstly, okay. you can add nodes. Uh, you can use the end nodes on EC2 page to add an instance in EC2. Because, the time, because of time limitation, I already launched four instance, so I will s skip the step. In the next step, I will create three proposals for glance, compute, and the keystone.
Okay, I will create proposal for Keystone first. Okay, I will click install link. Okay, the status of the proposal become installing. Then I will create a proposal for glance. Okay, install it. Because Keystone is still installing, so uh, Glass Proposal will be waiting for it. Uh, due to the limitation of after get in Ubuntu, to uh, multiple the get command cannot be execu executed simultaneously. So I have to let the proposal to wait, uh, waiting. Okay. Okay. Here is the name uh, is the name of the machine of the instance where Keystone was installed. Okay, the Keystone is installed, and now Glance is installing. Has been installing. I will create the next proposal for OpenStack Compute. Here, the almost all the sightings can leave, it, uh, leave them default, but Glance and uh, Keystone should be changed from localhost to the name of well, uh, of the machine, of the instance. Okay, now we can do install compute. It will take about five or six minutes. So, <coughs> uh, in the one way waiting the proposal, uh, do you have any questions? Okay, the question is how do you find the relationship of dependency? What do you find? Uh, how, how do I define? Uh, okay. Uh, we define the relationship in the templates before we add it to .dot.i deploy. I can show you the example.
here is well we uh, component dependency is well we define the relationship between the component. Which one first, which one next? Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, can you repeat it again? If you, have, if you want to, if you have a node and you want to upgrade a fancy version from one to another, can you just define anything or is it only for land use or anything? Can you manage? Uh, yes, I can define anything because here you can define A depend on B. If you want to define A depend on C, then you can add an atom to here. Is it okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, please. So if I understood it right, for Goda, it's more if you assume that you already have puppet running on the system that you want to, to manage, is that right? Oh, sorry, can you speak um, slowly? For Goda, <laughs> For Dodai deploy, um, you assume that the, the nodes you want to manage with it or you want to deploy to, that they already have a Puppet client up and running? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't get your meaning. <laughs> Excuse me. D Dodai deploy requires that Puppet is already running on each node. Oh, yes, that you want yes, to yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Okay, you can see the l logs of the proposal. Well, it's almost the l log from Puppet, yes. Any further questions? Okay. Please, please be patient. It maybe need uh, two, three minutes more. Okay. What else? What else do you need to solve for that? Is that thing you need to solve anything? Uh. Yes. If you create the manifests according to. Uh, Yes, you, you uh, firstly, the manifest was defined by, sorry, uh, manifest is the language from Puppet. If Puppet can do, then .dot deploy can do also. Sorry? Can you make Puppet execute anything on a specific node? Uh, yes, yes, yes. We, um, we will create schedule firstly and uh, decide which nodes will run Puppet client. Then we send the request to such nodes let the Puppet client to start. Okay. Ah, <coughs> uh, 
uh, yes, we can do test. According to the log of a uh, compute, proposal compute, uh, it's in the, s n now, uh, Nova compute was installing. Okay. So long. How uh, use in uh, environment? Yeah, how, how do you use it? How do you use it? Okay, okay. We have uh, used .NET deploy and .NET compute in uh, academic cloud, which is used for used by uh, college students, uh, graduate school students, or other researchers in colleges of Tokyo or Nihon uh, or Japanese. Is that okay? <laughs> Open that dashboard to you. Uh, here is the login page of Open Start dashboard with among uh, with username admin and the password admin. <laughs> you can log in. Because the language of browser is uh, Japanese, so. Hey? Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, what's the what's the what, what's the problem? Now? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. In the test of uh, for some, it will register images of 
uh, Pty uh, Linux, and uh, launch a test instance. Here you can see the image, kernel image and RAM disk image are registered. registered. And the instance, not finished. Okay, machine image have been added. Instance for test also launched, but uh, it, now it's spoiling in liver bug, liver, liver word, maybe. Okay, it became, uh, it become running, and. Uh, The state of proposal also became tested. Ah, okay. Uh, do you have any further questions? Uh, if you have no further questions, I will close my sessions. Thank you very much for your time today.